Hi, my name is Chris Hinson. I'm technical marketing specialist for Yamaha Commercial Audio Systems and Yamaha's Nuage recording system. I'm here with David Terry, Nashville engineer and producer extraordinaire, to talk to him about his use of the Steinberg Sync Station. Hey, Chris, how are you? Thanks for having me. Um, I used the Sync Station on a uh, live recording I did in Binghamton, New York. Um, it was a pretty complicated uh, event several days of rehearsals and uh, there was a company called Skystorm Productions in Orlando, Florida, out of Orlando, Florida, that uh, came to Binghamton to, uh, I think there was an eight camera shoot maybe, so you know the challenges were to uh, lock to video on the record side to chase their time code reference and then also to be synced to their clock so we were all running at the same speed. I used two new endo rigs. One of them was hooked up to the sync station via USB. The second one was hooked up to the sync station's uh, word clock outputs and MIDI time code out of the sync station via a MIDI input on the second sync station. So, I mean, I'm sorry, on the second new window rig. So, it worked flawlessly. I, I just told them ahead of time, I said, hey guys, can you send me an analog time code, which went into the linear time code input on the sync station, and can you send me either black burst or tri-level sync and they had tri-level sync which then the sync station took the tri-level sync input and resolved that or formulated a word clock output at 48k which then there's i don't know i think there are four outputs word clock wise on the sync station took those word clock outputs fed all of my boxes hooked it all up boom worked great And we were in record, by the way, for the show itself was over four hours long. We recorded, I don't remember now, three or four rehearsals. Everything stayed locked, never dropped. Both systems was rock solid the entire time. After I recorded the event, I had a reference video. Um, the reference video was for me to mix to, because you know I always will mix to the picture after the fact, this was a live concert. And so I took the uh, reference video, loaded it onto a second computer, and I fed the second computer time code off of the MIDI time code outputs of the sync station, which were at that point then chasing the first Nuendo rig. So I wasn't getting external time code in, it was going out of Nuendo rig through the sync station into the secondary rig, which had the video playback on it. Uh, the sync station uh, MIDI time code out worked great in that scenario and then I also used it in a VST system link scenario where I was connecting two Nuendo rigs uh, just as a as more as a test and then also in a, as a real world how I might want to use it in the future and it worked great it, it never hiccup never crashed never did anything other than sounded great and worked awesome thanks David yep. well, appreciate you coming and spending some time with me here in the studio uh, we'll have more great information about Nuage and Steinberg and uh, Yamaha hardware uh, coming at you real soon.